Now, my top two most complimented fragrances of all time, they are... What's up guys, Max K here, and today we're gonna to be going over my most complimented fragrances, both of all time and as of recent. So we'll begin with my most recently ones that have been doing pretty well in terms of compliments. So most recently, I just recently picked up this bottle here, Rusazi Hawa, the brand new formulation, which is in my opinion, probably the best. Second would be the original, but I think the brand new one is probably the best overall. So I picked up Rusazi Hawa and that has been doing very well lately in terms of compliments and getting attention. Um, it's not very expensive. I don't remember exactly what the price is. I think it's around a hundred bucks, but it's not too bad. It doesn't really break the bank, but it is quite good. It grabs attention. This is why it's such a great compliment. Get it. It's very mass appealing. It has very nice sweet notes, but it's also aquatic, has some citrus, and it's very strong and projects very far. So it grabs attention. Uh, that's very important for complimenting getting fragrances. You have to be able to be smelled by a lot of people to get a lot of compliments by people, right? So that's a winner for sure. It doesn't have as many compliments as some of my other fragrances that I've had for longer, but I've also been wearing it a lot recently. So that's another aspect, but definitely a great buy. Would recommend it. It smells a lot like Invictus Aqua 2016. If you know what that is, it's a very classic and well-known fragrance in the community that was discontinued. The newer versions do not smell like the old one did, but this does. And some people even say that this is a tad better, but that's up to opinion. Rosazi Hawas, great pick. Now, one that I've been wearing less recently, but one that has more compliments overall than Rosazi Hawas. Um, this is probably, I'd say, my third most complimented fragrance ever. And I have just recently started wearing it frequently again because it's just so good all the time, especially as the weather starts to get warmer. That would be Fragrance One's Office for Men. I'm a huge fan of this fragrance because a lot of people hate on it. And people hate on it, one, because they don't like the guy who made it. His name is Jeremy Fragrance. He's a very famous fragrance YouTuber who kind of, he was very popular at one point, but he kind of moved away from the spotlight lately. And he's been focusing more on his company and he's been making shorter videos. But back in the day, years ago, he was a pillar of the fragrance community and he launched his own fragrance line, Fragrance One. And I picked up Office for Men at the very beginning. And I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells a bit like Creed Aventus meets Dior Sauvage, which if you are aware of those two fragrances, those are two of the most legendary men's fragrances ever and this is basically kind of like a combination of the two it's like it has the spiciness of sauvage but you also have a very similar build to creed aventus with less wood but instead of the pineapple they replaced it with bergamot which is what you have in sauvage so very very strong too it's a bit stronger than both sauvage or creed aventus in my opinion at least off of my skin it projects farther lasts all day long and it will turn heads and i've gotten quite a few comments from this fragrance very good pick both from men and women by the way i've had guys stop me in the store and they're like hold on what are you wearing that smells amazing you know so this is a great buy, but I will say it is fairly expensive. I believe it was like 240 bucks, but I did get it on discount. He does run discounts on his site all the time. So if you are interested in getting it, I would recommend doing a discount, or you can also buy one of the smaller sample atomizers that he sells for a cheaper price. But either way, great formulation here. Now, my top two most complimented fragrances of all time, they are for two different occasions. One of them is a summer fragrance slash spring. And the other one is a winter slash fall fragrance. Now the winter slash fall fragrance happens to be my favorite fragrance of all time and apparently a lot of ladies would agree <laughs> the spring and summer one i like it but i like some of the other ones a little bit better personally but boy does did it seem to get a lot of compliments back in the day i haven't worn it recently but this fragrance here versace dylan blue for some reason when i picked this up first and i wore this almost every time i would go out somebody at least one person would stop me and ask what on earth are you wearing it smells so good i had uber drivers saying things i had you know girls at the club girls at the bar random people just stopping me on the street even when i was in CVS one time buying something, the guy at CVS just stopped me. He's like, what fragrance are you wearing? It's so good. I don't know what it is about this stuff, but it really got a lot of compliments and it's quite a good scent. Don't get me wrong. This is a great scent and you will not go wrong buying this. It is a great scent for a, for pretty much any occasion in the summer or spring for that matter. You can wear it at night, you can wear it during the day, you can wear it to work, you could wear it to school, you could wear it to the bar, to the club. This will shine just about anywhere. Great buy, but the amount of compliments did shock me because it didn't blow my mind that much, if that makes sense. But it blew a lot of other people's minds. So I don't know how well it does nowadays because I haven't worn it in a while, but give it a shot, you know? It's also not very expensive. Now, tied for number one in terms of compliment volume, I would say actually in terms of compliment volume, maybe Versace Dylan Blue maybe has slightly more compliments, just a bit, but this fragrance I would say has the most extreme compliments. Girls would say crazy things when I would wear this one. And in terms of volume, it would, it would be a close second in terms of how many compliments I got. 
to Versace Don Blue, but quite a few compliments, but some of the compliments I was getting with this were crazy. Like, I would get girls at the bar being like, hold on, and they would just grab me and just shove their face in my neck and be like, you smell like daddy or something. And I'm like, whoa, what the, what? <laughs> you know, like this stuff was crazy, okay? I was told that like, you smell like my next biggest mistake. You smell like my future husband, like, wild stuff okay I, I remember i even wore this one time and a starbucks barista who was a female starbucks barista who's doing taking my order stopped me and said oh my god you smell amazing what are you wearing and i was shocked because coffee smells strong you know you got to be able to like this stuff is powerful very very powerful for them to be able to smell it even behind the counter of starbucks you know so without further ado my favorite fragrance ever and one of my most successful fragrances ever in terms of attracting women parfums de marley Layton. Right there. This stuff, oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> this stuff is great for the colder months because it's it's sweet, cinnamon, apple, gourmand type of scent. It's spicy, it's very masculine, it's sexy. It really, really powerful scent. It, it turns heads like crazy. I've also had guys stop me like, wow, that is an incredible scent you're wearing. What is it? And most people out of the fragrance community don't even know what this brand is, Parfums de Marley. It's a higher end niche brand, but they specialize in scents that smell good to everybody. Unlike a lot of other higher end niche brands, which make kind of more experimental type of scents, this brand tends to always hit it when it comes to like crowd pleasers. But of all of their fragrances, this is my favorite. And I own several of them, but this this is this is the king, you know? So Parfums de Marley Layton, my most extreme compliment puller of all time, also doubles as my favorite fragrance of all time. It retails for about 330, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but it's around the $300 range. It's rather expensive, but boy, does it bring me happiness and gives me a lot of crazy reactions. So I love that fragrance. I wear it every winter and every fall and I enjoy it every single time I do. And everybody around me seems to enjoy it too. So if you're ever at Bloomingdale's or a place that happens to have it, definitely give it a smell. Tell me what you think below in the comments. As well as the other fragrances, let me know what you think. And also comment below on what your best compliment puller is, some crazy compliments you've gotten with it, or if you disagree with any of the things on my list. Thanks for joining me today. Subscribe, hit the bell button below so you don't miss another one of my videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace.